Welcome back to our program, Pray TV. We're very grateful for you being here with us. And we know that when we're in the presence of the Lord together, praying, it says, if any two of you agree as touching anything, it shall be given you of my Father which is in heaven. And of course, you know, we can come into this agreement even though we are literally around the world from many of our friends. We have so many of you that are watching from India and from Pakistan and from Indonesia and in Africa, and we're so grateful for all of your participation in prayer. And know this, that when we are interceding and when we are praying literally around the globe, we are undergirding the work of God's kingdom so that he can accomplish the things that he has set in his heart to do by us agreeing with them. Today we're looking at Colossians chapter 1, verses 15 through 17 in the New Living Translation of the Bible. And it says, Christ is the visible image of the invisible God. He existed before anything was created and is supreme over all creation. For through him, God created everything in the heavenly realms and on the earth. He made the things we can see and the things we can't see, such as thrones, kingdoms, rulers, and authorities in the unseen world. Everything was created through him and for him. He existed before anything else, and he holds all creation together. Isn't that amazing? God holding it all together in Christ. You know, I actually believe, and I've shared this a little bit before, and I don't want to go into too much elaboration on it again, but I I believe that on a subatomic level, at the most infinite scale possible, that underneath the whole matrix of existence exists the presence of God as manifest by the Holy Spirit. Now, I'm not trying to make a doctrine out of this, and I'm not trying to teach it in some kind of a sense where where I'm going to be emphatic about it. These things are unknowable as far as I'm concerned, but that's my belief. I believe that underneath all of creation exists the presence of God. He is the lattice upon which time exists. He is the matrix upon which existence manifests itself through the atomic structures, all the way to the infinity on the other end of the scale and the massive scale of the universe. And I believe it's all held together by him. Jesus is the manifestation. He is the visible manifestation of the invisible God. And so, I want for us to be able to just enter into just praising him and and worshiping him and experiencing him. He's got so much for us to lay hold on. We're going to read the scripture again. And when we do, I want for us to get ready to prime our souls for praying in agreement with what God, through his Holy Spirit, is doing throughout the earth. And again, we are reading from Colossians chapter 1, verses 15 through 17 in the New Living Translation. Christ is the visible image of the invisible God. He existed before anything was created and is supreme over all creation. For through him, God created everything in the heavenly realms and on earth. He made the things we can see and the things we cannot see, such as thrones, kingdoms, rulers, and authorities in the unseen world. Everything was created through him and for him. He existed before anything else, and he holds all creation together. We're going to just thank him for his cohesive, ability, that ability to coalesce all things and literally have them under his feet, under his jurisdiction, under his authority. And we are going to ask that God will take all of the problematic circumstances in the world, but then get it down to where we live and in our own personal lives and put it under his control, under his feet 
and we're simply going to agree in prayer to that end today. Holy Spirit, we thank you that you are the visible manifestation of the invisible God. Jesus, we worship you. And we pray, Lord, that you would set your rule and authority over our lives. And we ask, Lord, for you to help us to be in such agreement with you that literally we can be vehicles and vessels of carrying out your authority in this earth, on this earthly plane as well. So Holy Spirit, from places from Pakistan to India, from places from Singapore, from places from Indonesia and Malaysia, from places through all of the continent of Africa, through America, through Canada, through the the areas of Mexico and Central America, down into the areas of South America, we gather together and we pray in accordance with your word. We say, Lord, when we look at the circumstances of this world, it seems as though the enemy has a real foothold. But we are declaring in prayer your manifestation over it, your authority over it, your ability to put your stamp upon all of the activities on this earth. And Holy Spirit, we give our allegiance to you. We supplicate before you. We pray in accordance with your word that your kingdom and your authority is going to rule and reign over all of this earth. And Lord, we pray right now, Lord, bring your kingdom to earth. Come down in your authority, come down in your power, come down in your presence, come down in your rulership so that you will exert your rightful place of leadership in this earth. Now, Father, we pray for these United States and the things that are happening right now in our Congress and the things that are going on in our governance in the embattled state of the presidency and all of this back and forth, push and pull, to be able to try to gain some kind of advantage. That's really what it's about. Lord, we say you have the advantage. And we pray in accordance with your word over these United States of America. Lord, I'm asking and pleading for the intercessors from around the world to pray that your kingdom rule will manifest in these United States as we take authority and as we pray. I am not a single voice praying. We are coming together as men and women across the globe praying that you, Lord Jesus Christ, you who are the undergirding element of all reality, that you will begin to be seen as you deserve to be seen, high and lifted up, as you deserve to be seen as Isaiah 6 saw you, high and lifted up, your train filling the temple. And Lord, we pray that that beauty of your your expression to all of the earth will really show forth your glory, strong to deliver. We need it. We need you. Come in your might. Come in your power. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And now, saints, as I so often say, this is not your prayer life. Hopefully, it's a little encouragement to be strong in prayer through the rest of the day. May God bless you and keep moving in the power and the strength of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ. God bless you, my